So here is our updated tutorial on how to use Facebook Live with multiple presenters with the best options to do it right now. From a simple stream just using the Facebook app, right up to some more professional options using Facebook Livestream software for cool effects and advanced features that you can add in alongside your guests in your very next Facebook live stream. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. So Facebook Lives with multiple people. Now there's a few different options out there to allow you to do this. We're gonna start off first just using the Facebook app because this is a feature that they've recently reintroduced. And then we're gonna look at some more advanced options using some Facebook live streaming software that will let you add things like cool titles and effects, all to get more control over your stream. And just a quick heads up, those more advanced options really aren't that difficult. So if you're thinking that you're just gonna check out the simple one and bail, then I definitely suggest sticking around because it really can be easy to take your live stream to the next level with what I'll be showing you. So the first method, Facebook Live using your iOS or Android device, you do need to make sure that you are running the latest version, the latest update of the Facebook app. And likewise for your guests or whoever you want to bring in, they need to be running the latest version as well. Okay, so to do this, you need to open up the Facebook app, come up to the top where it says what's on your mind and just press the little live button underneath that. And then you're gonna set up who you want this post or this video to go out to. In most cases, I would imagine it's public, but you can lock this down to uh, either be public, to go to your friends, uh, friends except, don't show some friends. Or in this case, we're just gonna do a test live. So I am just going to select a specific friend, Jen. Or you can also choose down here which group you'd like to go into as well. So we're gonna get back out of this. Now you will need to specify if you are going to be going live in portrait like I am here now or in landscape because this is something that you can't change afterwards. So I'll do a quick test here in portrait and then I'll show you what landscape looks like but you can't switch between the two. Then you can add in a quick video description, tap to add a description, uh, let's go test. Go done. Now down the bottom here, you get to choose what type of live video you'd like to do. Um, just a regular live video is the first one. You can specify to bring in a friend, raise money, or there's uh, different filters and those sorts of things that you can do as well. Now, you can still go live with a regular live video and bring in a friend. You don't have to specify before you go live to bring in a friend. But if you do select bring in a friend, and we select Jen there, then it says at the top, they'll automatically be invited to join once you go live. So that's pretty cool that once they're on, they'll automatically receive an invitation from you. Now I'm gonna deselect that now just for this video, and I'm going to go start a live video here, and we are now live on Facebook. So down the bottom here, you have a few different settings. We have the invite button down the bottom here. So if we wanna add someone in, then you can do this. So we can see now that Jen has joined us live. Now, if I had sent that invitation out before uh, I went live, then she would automatically receive an invitation to join and, and come straight onto the live stream. Or if you wanna add someone in randomly, we can come up to the top right-hand corner. See, there's a little icon there of Jen's profile pic and she has the little green camera next to the icon. That means we can actually bring her on. So if I tap on that, it says bring Jen on camera, we can go add. Jen will then get a request from here to uh, come and join the live stream. And if she accepts, then she will come onto the live stream here. Now, one thing to note is that you will need to adjust your framing when you bring someone on. You can see it's now cropped off my massive head. It's actually zoomed in on the shot a little bit as well. But when we wanna get rid of Jen, see you, Jen, all we have to do is press the little X in the corner here above Jen's picture and we can kick Jen out. So that's how easy it is to bring someone on just using the Facebook Live app. Now we'll quickly show you what it looks like if it's in portrait mode as well. So I'm gonna hit finish now and start a new one because we can't switch it while we're actually live. Okay, so now we're all set up again, but before we go live, we do need to make sure that we have rotated our camera. This isn't gonna look great. <laughs> Press go live, this big button over the side here. So once again, we've got Jen that's joined the live stream. If I press up on her profile image, uh, we can then select uh, bring Jen onto camera. Let's go add. Cool, so it's actually, um, it hasn't repositioned me, it's actually taken the center of the frame, which is pretty cool. But this is what it looks like on a widescreen Facebook Live two-person live stream. 
Okay, so that's how easy it is to do it just from your iOS or Android device. Now we're gonna jump across and look at some more advanced live streaming software to let you add in things like multiple guests or extra titles and to really customize up the look and feel of your live stream. So there's lots of options when it comes to live streaming software out there that lets you bring guests into your stream. My top two picks right now are Ecamm Live and StreamYard. Ecamm is more on the advanced side of things. There's lots more features and control and everything that you can do and customize up your live stream on the Ecamm side, but it is Mac only. Whereas StreamYard, it runs in your web browser, so you can pretty much use it on almost any computer out there. And the way that you actually bring in and work with your guests on StreamYard is actually a little bit easier and a little bit more straightforward than on Ecamm. But both of those are great options and you're gonna get great results with either one of them. So I'm gonna take you through the process in StreamYard to show you how easy it is. Okay, so we're over here on StreamYard now. We're just gonna to go to create a broadcast. Then you're gonna select where you want this broadcast to go out to, Facebook page, group, profile, LinkedIn, YouTube, wherever you'd like it to go. For this test, I'm just gonna go skip and record only. So you can actually use this just to record an interview as well without necessarily going live. But let's just call this here test. Now this process is exactly the same as if you were going to go live as well. So we'll go create broadcast. It's gonna pop up and let you do a little camera and microphone check. And then you can go enter broadcast studio. Now you can see straight away that your actual live stream or recording area here is blank and it says down the bottom here, you're not part of the stream yet. Click to add your audio and video. So if we click down here, then I'm now added to the stream. Hey, how you doing? So next we wanna bring in a guest. Now down the bottom here, we've got the invite button and this is a unique URL or unique link that we can use to have up to six people on screen at once. So we can copy this, we can then send it out to our guests ahead of time or while you're live as well, but this is the link that they will need to use to join us on the stream. So I'm gonna send that one out now. Now when your guests arrive and show up on your stream, they uh, appear down the bottom here. So Jen currently isn't in our stream. None of our viewers, if we were live now, would see her. But all I have to do is put my mouse over and click the little plus button here. And we have brought Jen into the stream. Welcome. How are you doing? You good? Hello. It actually sounds really good. So we've got a couple of options. While we've got Jen on the screen here, you can see down the bottom, we can change the way that this looks. Just selecting these buttons down the bottom uh, to customize up the live stream. And yes, you can have up to six guests on live with you while you're live. Now, if I wanna kick Jen out of the stream, but still leave her in the green room so I can bring her back on afterwards, I just need to put my mouse over down the bottom here and just hit remove from stream. And uh, she's back in the green room. So she's still there. I can bring her back in uh, when I want her back on screen. If I actually want to kick her right out. Um, I can ban from studio or I can uh, kick her out from the studio at this point as well. Just one more thing I will show you. If we bring Jen back in full screen, let's say that Jen's now going to run the live stream and um, I'm going to disappear, then I can remove myself from the stream and I'm gone. Now it's the Jen show. And now I'm in the stream. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, so you can see there's so much flexibility and customizability to make professional looking live streams really, really easily just using tools like Ecamm and StreamYard. Now in regards to pricing, you can actually use StreamYard for free. There is the StreamYard branding that you saw in the top right hand corner of our live stream if you're on the free plan. And there are also some streaming limits. It says here you can stream up to 20 hours per month for free on the free plan. But if you do upgrade even to their basic plan, it's gonna remove the StreamYard branding, it's going to give you access to unlimited streaming, also the ability to add logos, overlays, backgrounds, and also recording and multi-streaming capabilities as well. So that's how easy it is to bring guests into your Facebook live streams. Now, if you're wondering which is the best live streaming software for you, whether you're on Mac or PC, check out our two videos that are linked on screen to help you do just that. And I will see you in the next one.